Coming up next on ATE TV. Community colleges and industry. We have great industry in this area and it's very important that we supply these industries with the workers that they need. And architectural technology. I constantly find myself making people more aware of how they're using energy and uh, how much it really costs, um, not just to their pocket, but to the environment. Now on ATE TV. From across the country to your own backyard, ATE TV shows you the many advanced technological education opportunities available at your local community college. We're headed to Florence Darlington Technical College where they, like many other community colleges, design their programs with direct input from industry. This relationship better prepares graduates for high-tech careers and opens doors to prospective employers. Let's take a look. We have great industry in this area, and it's very important that we supply these industries with the workers that they need. The students who graduate from our two-year engineering technology programs at Florence Strong and Tech are most often hired in this area as engineering technicians at ESOB Welding and Cutting Products. After graduation, hopefully do something with civil engineering. The civil engineering students go into the construction field. I would like to actually become a contractor. Ooh, this is going to be 22.8. A lot of them work in automation, e and I technicians, which is electrical and instrumentational. A lot go into jobs at the nuclear power plant. There's a small company that five years ago had eight or ten employees. They now own the entire second floor of an old bank downtown. And when you walk in, there are 40 people working there and every one of them is an engineering graphics graduate from Florence Shine and Tech. After I graduate, I plan on designing buildings. I really wouldn't go anymore than the test of the speeds we're going at. Hands-on contextualized learning is very important. We try to answer every day, why am I learning this? When I come around, I want to see your memo. So they yeah, realize they that we're not just saying write a memo because it's the kind of thing you should do in an English class. This looks very good. I like this a lot. Six months after you graduate, you might be expected to write a memo to your boss or to somebody that, to, you know, a customer. Everything counterclockwise is positive. You know, the Pythagorean theorem makes no sense to you if you just do it all day, every day, but you don't have a... a a context. Times but you get here and you realize if you are in power distribution at Progress Energy, you will use the Pythagorean theorem every day of your life. It's very important for students here at Florence Shine and Tech to get the skills to go into the workforce from our program. There are some great opportunities coming out of Florence Darlington Technical College. Those students are getting hands-on, real-world learning that can lead to great careers. And there are similar programs happening all over the country. Be sure to check out your local community college to find out more. Green energy technologies are growing, and companies are looking for qualified, well-trained technicians to fill their green jobs. We're going to St. Clair Community College to find out about one program that's educating students in energy conservation. My name is Senya Ojijadeka. I'm a student at St. Clair Community College and my major is Civil Architectural Technology. You will use that printout to demonstrate that the home that you're going to do your energy audit on. I found out that they had a Civil Architectural um, Technology program, which is really cool because half of it is civil engineering, the other half is architecture, so it's a technical portion, so it's almost the best of both worlds. You use that information then to prepare your energy management plan. So is this killer BTUs? This is in killer BTUs. I went to an art school for a semester. 
I left the art school I was at because I knew I was going to do architecture and I kind of just wanted to really get started. Eight feet, eight inches. Just five feet. Did you have it at PRFL at 50? I have gotten more interested in energy analysis and energy conservation since I've been at Sinclair. Energy analysis would be taking into account all the resources that you're using at the time. It could even be your car for whatever facility you're in, but taking those things into account and then actually making sure that you're using what you need and only what you need and not wasting at all. As I've been going through the program, uh, a lot of the teachers talk about the LEAD program and different programs that, um, that the government is trying to put into place to, you know, cap CO2 and to make sure that the global warming issue doesn't get severely worse. Oh, here's a model. Hang on. I constantly find myself making people more aware of how they're using energy and uh, how much it really costs, um, not just to their pocket, but to the environment. Sinclair is definitely keeping up with the latest technology, work with the biodiesel, the solar energy, um, even hydrogen power for vehicles. So I'm sure they'll be developing more classes and many more things to learn. I would tell as many people as possible if they really want to make money, this is where it's at because it's the future of the technology. Everybody on the planet is going to have to do it. you got to start somewhere. Senya is learning about architecture, energy technology, and the environment. If you're interested in learning more about energy efficiency and architectural technology, or want more information on anything you've seen today, explore our website at atetv.org. Thanks for watching.